Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video, if you are a patron, is brought to you by you and the Corpus Ophel Demo 2024. Now, what is Corpus Ophel? Corpus Ophel comes from the rotted remains of Cerebral Rot. So this is the new Cerebral Rot. R.I.P. to Cerebral Rot. Now, cessation of life. All this music still holds up, but like, so, you know... Somebody, like, legit asked me, like, should I sell my Cerebral Rot t-shirts? And I, I'm sorry, I, I'm laughing, but use your brain for a second. No. Unless you just, like, stop, uh, you're like, oh, I, I don't like that band anymore, then whatever. But if you still like Cerebral Rot, keep, keep liking them, you know? Like, because it's up to you to keep these records in stock. I mean, in print. Because, like, when, you know, I'm sure these cassettes are long gone. I mean, at least I, I know Spewing Curulence, The Parasitic, and this is limited to 111 copies. I'm sure that's gone. The full length, some. Yeah, 20 bucks spin probably keeps them in stock. For the LPs, now the 7 inch, thank you to Tim at Parasitic Records because I was going to Denver anyway, but one of Tim's bands was playing. And I was going to, at the time, the first Wear Goat hadn't been reissued. Uh, Unholy Exultion of Full Moon Perversity. It had, hadn't had been reissued yet. And Tim had bought a copy off of eBay. And he was like, yo, I'll, I'll sell it to you for the same exact price I paid for it on eBay. Don't worry. I was like, so it was like 20, 25 bucks. And he was like, yo, grab a Cerebral Rot 7 inch. And I was like, okay. Because I had to borrow somebody's promo cessation of life, and I kind of had to rush, and I didn't really get to enjoy it because I kept worrying that something was going to happen to it, and it was going to be my fault. Now I'll, I'll get to how badass these two tracks are, and why it's worth your time and your money, but just real quick. Because this is the end of, you know, one of the sickest modern death metal bands, in my opinion. Now, I do not have the Spewing Curial and 7-inch, but I have the cassette tape. And when it comes to Cerebral Rock, that, that's, I kind of go towards, I gravitate to just listening to the cassette version of stuff, but Odious Descent Into Decay, a great debut. You get pretty much a re-recording of Cessation of Life without the track Cessation of Life. But I'm just, real quick, let's just say our goodbyes. But not really, because like I said, it's not like I'm going to stop listening to Cerebral Rock. Just because they have a new band. Like, no. <laughs> that, like, I'm sorry. It just, I, the person that asked me that question is like somebody that's, you know, they go to shows, like, they're not, I, I was like, yo, like, part of me, I wanted to be like, yo, come on, are you fucking with me? <laughs> like, oh, ay, yeah, ay, yeah. but then, excretion of 
mortality, or is it, yeah, mortality. I always think it's morality, it's mortality. Great cover art. Great record. So sick. Like Karina Manzan's artwork. I, I love her art. Well, I, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. I, I have no fucking idea. I'm sorry. Well, like Manzan's artwork is so good. Like the gutless mortal wound, the mortal wound full length art. Like, whoo! Just amazing, amazing job. I, like anytime someone starts getting like a distinct style, like future Matt, like I could just like look at something and it's like, oh, like Matt did that, or like I look at something and Paulo Giarte has that distinct style. Like if I saw like a Giarte painting. And it wasn't a Giarte painting, I would be like pissed off. Like, yo, somebody ripped your style off, brother. Like, big time. That's not cool. But excretion of mortality. I don't know what variant this is. I, I'm sorry. I don't care. It's just, it's just a badass slap of death metal. But the Corpus Ophel demo tape, I know not everybody is a cassette person. So, you know, you can always get the digital version and make a CDR, like fan CD, if you know what I'm talking about. Like, fan CDs are pretty cool. Like, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the Departure Chandelier, like, fan CD. Uh, like, instead of, like, a full jewel case, it's just, like, it's just as, as bare, it's as basic as it can be, but, like, it looks real nice. It's, I don't know. You, you can definitely do it with this, and it wouldn't be that hard. But you just gotta buy the digital tunes, but... If you can, and you you have a cassette deck, get the cassette. Like, just, you're going, to, trust me. Because, like, when it comes to cessation of life, I got lucky with the cassette reissue that I got here. Like, legit, I just was like, you know what? I think I was on, like, Hell's Headbangers or Dark Descent. It was one or the other on their distro, and I was like, kind of looking for the cassette version, and I, it, just, I was like, oh shit, and I, I just don't remember which web, which distro it was, but thank you for carrying this, because I've never seen anybody else with another copy of this, it's a... Uh, Death Division Rituals, like, no idea, limited to 111 copies, this easily could have been like a thousand, and it would have sold out, like, no problem, but I like how they kept it bare bones, though, like, because they could have easily put, like, the 7-inch art right there, and then, yeah, but... Look at those demons. Sick. But yeah, I got lucky here. Like, legit. Because I was just, like, searching, and I just happened to find that bad boy. And thank you to Tim. Because again, like, he just was like, yo, grab a Cerebral Rot 7-inch. Let me know if you like it. I was like, oh, yeah, hell yeah. Thank you. And, yeah, I liked it. Again, the more time I spent with it, like, the more I was like, yo, this band's gonna be huge. And, pretty much you have, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a new rhythm section. 
in Corpus Oful. We will find out in a moment, but they are recording their debut full length with fucking Billy Anderson. Yeah, that Billy Anderson from Sleeps Dope Smoker slash Jerusalem. Leviathan Scar Sighted. He's worked with so many amazing bands. I'm interested that because like they're doing it like reel to reel and stuff. I'm very interested to hear how heavy the Corpus Oval full length's gonna be. Cause based off these two tracks, Ripen Psychosis and Gorging Gastric Decadent. Again, we have a nice song about poop, so hell yeah. But we have Ian Schwab on guitar and vocals, Kyle Lindstrom on guitar, Jason Sachs on bass, and Jesse Shreedman on drums. That's a recorded in Austin, Texas. Art and logo by Ian Schwab. Good job. Fuck yeah, man. And you have Ian's address and stuff if you want to, you know, correspond. Which is always, like, the fact that he did that, that's awesome. Because, like, I'm sure, you know, you can get some, like, DIY flyers or something. Like, trade your tape, trade your band's demo, maybe. You never know. Like, just write a letter. I think a a stamp cost a couple cents, but very much looking forward to the future of Corpus Oval. Great lyrics, like just gross, and it's exactly what you want from, you know, X Cerebral Rock, because that's technically what it is. The new Cerebral Rock. But, like, a two song demo compared to Cessation of Life, it's not fair. But these two songs, they're extremely strong. Like, they're fucking awesome. It's death metal for fans of death metal. And that's kind of. That, that That is the same with Cessation of Life, but the two tracks, like, cover all the bases I need covered when it comes to death metal, so good job. And real nice cassette program repeats. And I, I, I saw a couple people who were like, oh, I'm not paying $10 for two songs. Like, well, you're going to be paying like $75 for this cassette in about, well, whenever it goes out of print. Corpus Oval Demo 2024 Essential Listening. Check it out. Thanks for watching as always. Fucking roll. Hands.